Hey Steam Deck fam, it's time for school. Now, I often see a lot of confusion on how the Steam Deck actually runs games. So I decided to take a brief moment of your time to attempt to explain things a bit more. Think of this like your handy guide to Linux and Steam Deck gaming. There is a number of ways that Linux can run games that I'm going to go over, and I'm going to keep things simple for you like I always do. First up, native Linux games. What are they? When developers make games, they can have the end result compiled into executable form for various platforms, including Linux, macOS, Windows, various consoles, tablets, phones, and so on. A native game is one that is done specifically for that platform, and it will include the various middleware and libraries that it needs for that exact platform. It will also be built against whatever graphics API that platform uses. So for Linux and the Steam Deck, that would be OpenGL or Vulkan. Talking about Steam specifically, you can tell if a game has a supported native Linux version by looking for the Steam OS icon in the platform list. This can be a little bit confusing as originally it was the Linux Tux Penguin logo but now it's just the SteamOS icon, so look for that. Now we come to Steam Play. A common misconception here is that Steam Play is what runs Windows games, but that's not actually right. Steam Play is just a way of running different compatibility tools in the Linux version of the Steam client. The biggest one is Proton. Now that's a compatibility layer that translates Windows API calls and DirectX into something that Linux understands. So if you're playing something like Elden Ring or Death Stranding on a Steam Deck or a Linux desktop, you are playing a native Windows game through Proton. Steam Play is pretty versatile because it can also run native Linux games inside a special container the Steam Linux runtime. This is a way to ensure that native Linux games run the same across different distributions of Linux like SteamOS, Ubuntu, Fedora, and so on, as it gives them access to a standard environment. There's also other Steam Play tools like LuxTorpedo that will run various games through native Linux game engines like Morrowind through OpenMW, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 through OpenRCT2 and Warzone 2100 through the much more up to date open source Warzone 2100 game engine, and the list for that goes on and on. Hopefully, that just goes a little bit towards clearing up the differences there. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you in the next video.